No Ray Lee has become world renowned as one of the most mechanical Fortnite players to ever touch the game. And today, man, we're gonna be giving you guys a glimpse into how he's become so ahead of the meta. Bunch of Crunch Army so excited. Today, we're gonna be analyzing No Ray Lee and asking you the question, what would you do in his scenarios? You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. In this clip, Norelli makes a very simple mistake, but he knows exactly what he has to do in order to recover from it. All right, so you can see Noah bounce her up and you know just go for a risky bloom fight, something that you probably don't want to do in this sort of a scenario, but Noah is one of the best, right? And he reacts like lightning when he realizes that engaging in a fight this way is a bad choice. He knows exactly what he has to do in this situation, but do you? Okay, so when you're this low and your opponent has a charged shotgun, what should you do? A, edit from the top and just go for a risky peek, hoping that your opponent is just as low as you are. B, box up, heal, and then take the fight to your opponent. C, play very patiently. Let your opponent get away, but survive for the placement points. If you picked option C, then you are indeed correct, my friends. Noah backed off, he played patiently, and he let his opponent make a getaway. It may have lost him, you know, some immediate points by sacrificing the elimination, but Noah had put himself into an extremely risky situation, and there was really no telling if he would have actually come out on top. So not to mention the risk of potentially being third party. Instead, he had more time to refresh his health, you know, getting right back up to 150 HP, and he ended up having a better positioning later down the line. So what does this tell us? Going straight in for the fight, no matter what, isn't always the right choice, even when you're a mechanical mastermind like Nore Lee. Instead, sometimes you gotta back off, you know, you gotta heal up, play patiently to make it further into the game. All right, would you have played like Noah? Or would you have been blasted in the face by a charged shot like a flopper? All right, guys, so if you made the wrong choice, you might wanna think about heading over to ProGuys.com, where we've got master classes made by the pros designed to help you guys improve fast. All right, so soon after the last encounter, a third party did in fact show up. Only after healing up, he was ready to really pounce. So the opponent he was fighting before, they weren't so ready, and the third party got rid of them with ease. Noah reacted fast and hard, instantly, you know, making a move on the newcomer. He hit his opponent for 70 damage, and then he used a bouncer to get up close. Bouncers are a mainstay of Noah Rayleigh's playstyle, allowing him to apply massive amounts of pressure that converts tags into surefire eliminations. But in this situation, after bouncing up, what would Noah do next? A. Play patiently again before engaging in a box fight. B. Keep on applying pressure until his opponent makes a bad move. Hmm. The obvious solution, guys, <laughs> is B. Like, after using a bouncer to get up close, Noah made sure to be on his opponent until that flopper was just flipped back to the lobby. His opponent tried to heal up and succeeded. But while he was healing, he wasn't paying any attention to his peace control. Noah easily took his opponent's wall and he combed him, which allowed Noah to end the fight in three easy tag shots. Pressure, peace control, and making great use of an opponent's mistakes are, are all the things that Noah really excels at. And he did this all in this encounter. So taking your opponent off balance, right? Like, and then keeping them there is the key to succeeding in competitive Fortnite. And the way you do that is by constantly applying pressure. All right, guys. So for our question of the day, I want to ask you guys, like, how do you utilize pressure in your Fortnite games? Like, are you the sort of person who always sticks to their opponent no matter what? Or have you learned how to play passive from time to time? Let us know down below, all right? All right, guys, bunch of crunch army in this next clip. Nori Lee is about to start a fight, but he has absolutely no idea what his opponent's loadout is. His opponent could have had really good weapons, max HP, and more mats than you can even imagine, but none of that really phases this guy. To start off the fight in this situation, what would you do? A, spray, and just hope you can just beam them down to nothing? B, jump in the box and try to get an instant kill with your shoddy? C, play safe, utilize peace control, and uh, pressure them out. Okay, so if you answer C, that you should play safe, utilize peace control, and use pressure and just take the elimination, then you're obviously been paying attention because that's the right answer, guys. However, what No Rayleigh does isn't just your normal, you know, easy peace control. It's actually some of the most advanced peace control that you can do in Fortnite these days. No one knows exactly how to position himself and his builds that he manages to face straight through his opponent's box and basically boxes him up without even having to go through the effort of taking his enemy's wall. So this technique is super advanced 
And a lot of the pro scene didn't even know it was possible until players like Nora Lee and Vadil popularized it. To this day, all right, Noah is still one of the best at using techniques like these, as well as, you know, taking very smart peaks, which is why he's managed to become one of the most versatile fighters in the business. Okay, so in this example, Noah easily phases a Conan to his opponent's box, forces him to make another box, and then just phases another stare. Clearly, all right, his opponent couldn't figure out how to counter the never ending phase onslaught. <laughs> and he managed to just easily crack his shield. So once his opponent was low, he jumped straight in for the one-shot elimination. Now, sure, you know, not everyone can just phase with the ease that Nora Lee just pulls off, I'm kinda jealous, but pressure and peace control are still your number one key tools to advance in the game, right? All right, so our final clip for today's video. In this scenario, Noah has to stay boxed up so that he can survive, and he's already at seven eliminations, and this could just end up being a huge game if he manages to emerge from Salty Towers alive. All right, what would you do if you were in this situation? A, go for a peanut butter peek, and then, you know, risk being one-shotted. B, stand your ground and hope for a quick kill. C, run away, you know, use all your mats and resources and just risk being W keyed. Did you pick B? <laughs> well, if you did pick this, this is the correct answer. No one knew that even if he had enough resources to get away, he would still need to take his time to refresh his HP and that's the time an enemy player could use to get up and close and personal, right? Taking him out of the game while he's still healing. Instead, Noah decided to once again play it safe and play it patient. He waited for his opponent to make a bad move and instantly charged up his shotgun. When his opponent took his wall, I mean, he let that shot lose and then just ramped up and over. Sure, Noah did get hit and lost a lot of his HP when he did, but instead of just panicking, he entered the stairs sideways and shot the feet of his enemy, all while knowing he had the advantage of the angle so he couldn't be one tapped in return. All right, so the key elements that you need to take away from this clip isn't just the fact that Noah played this incredibly patiently, it's the fact that he didn't even panic when he lost a bunch of his HP. You know, a lot of the time, man, when you lose HP, every instinct that you have is going to be screaming at you to just disengage from the fight and find some way to refresh your HP. But often, you know, that's just not the right move to make. And instead, you need to press on, guys, keep a level head, man, and take out your opponents. And, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to really recover when you make a lot of mistakes. But mistakes are going to happen and it's a part of the game. It's a part of us being human. It's a part of us getting better. And so when you do make mistakes, don't like quit. Don't quit. You got to keep going. You got to keep moving. And just because you made a mistake doesn't mean that you can't plan, you know, for the next time to make a better decision. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. All right, guys, so over the course of the past year, Nora Lee has risen up through the ranks to become one of the best fighters the Fortnite scene has ever had, right? And by taking notes from his play and figuring out, you know, where we're going wrong in our own games, improvement is just a few steps away. Bunch of crunch, homie. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep grinding, and I'll see you soon.